Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now, as the title have mentioned, did I break the top side panel? Answer is no. Now, there are feedbacks mentioning about this top panel here. It's been easily scratched. Reason being, it's actually made of acrylic. So I found a method, in fact, to protect the top and to beautify it. And this is my method. Before I proceed, these are the tools that I will be using. The screwdriver kit, a exacto knife whereby you do precision cuts and this is actually the uh, vinyl sheet this is actually carbon fiber white and this i will explain to you later on why i'll be using a usb connector and a type c connector on the case itself in fact i'm going to temper the top itself so make sure you remove off the side panel the top panel the uh, I should say side glass and the uh, front glass and of course this bracket here you will need to actually remove it and make sure that you have a soft cushion or should I say a mat to actually protect your case top panel and do not remove this sticker yet as you can see here I've actually turned over the uh, case itself whereby the top is actually facing the bottom now this is where the part where you connect the USB, the USB Type-C, the audio connection and of course the power switch itself. Now there are certain parts to actually take out before you can remove off the uh, top panel. Now first off, I will remove off this controller as in like there are five screws total, three in front and two at the back. So having to say so right, I will use the screw bit as in like make sure that it fits and it's not wobbly. Okay, this is good. So I'll make sure I'll just remove off the screws. Now, when you're doing this right, please be extra careful not to break it. And also a disclaimer, if you were to actually damage this set, I'm not going to hold responsibility about it. So <laughs> take note on this. I'm just showing it to you. Now at the back itself, right, you will need to actually tuck the wires out a bit. I know that you can't see right now, but it's actually located at the back. So I can just unscrew. Now it's best that you can actually make use of magnetic screwdrivers so that the uh, screws can just stick to the uh, screwdriver. See, that's the problem that I had. <laughs> anyway, okay, let me see if I could grab this out. Okay, that's good. I got it. Now, if you have a magnetic tray, make sure you put all the screws on the magnetic tray itself so that you do not lose the screws. I'm just going to continue to remove the rest. Now, as mentioned, there are a total of five screws. Now, once this is out, you should be able to pull out the control unit, but do it carefully. See, it's out. Probably you can actually loosen this cable okay, over here. Okay, no worries. So long as you do not accidentally pull it or tuck it, you should be all right. Now, next, to remove the panel, let me just put, oops, let me just pull in front over here. Now, if you can see the case itself, right, there are two, I should say it starts over here, and there is two at the back. So remove this four. This is one. This is two, and the back two. Once you've done that, leave this aside. Now, the next two screws will be pretty tricky. In fact, there are a total of four screws. If you see over here, 
see there's one screw over here there's one screw over there and at the back at the other end which is here there are two more screws for you to remove so i can actually remove this please handle with care as i mentioned I've forgotten one thing. You can actually take the uh, power button off. I'm just going to leave this aside. I'm not going to scratch it. Now these are the two screws that I'll need to take it out. Now all the screws have done, I'm going to turn over the case itself and to show you how this thing is actually catched. I mean the uh, panel is catched to the uh, case itself. Now before you unscrew everything, right, make sure you know which screw belongs to which screw hole. The back here, in fact, these are all the four or should I say the five uh, screws meant for your control plate, which is actually this one. then followed by this four which is actually meant for the sides which is this and this and the other side and the other end and the last four set you over here these are meant for the studs which is actually located let me just yep here 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 and here now i've actually flipped the uh, top right back up so just to show you i've actually unscrewed all the screws so right now you will need to actually take out this panel here now before you do so right just to show you now if you can see right there are studs over here and there are studs over here so these are the studs that is actually holding the uh, panel itself so what i normally do right always start from the back by placing your hand over here you can just pull slowly make sure that you do not break it I should start from the back okay it's already out so I'm actually oops one drop okay I'm actually holding this then the other set, the studs, again, you can pull. See, it's already out. I've actually removed the uh, top panel, as you can see here. So this is actually a whole piece. So do take note on these studs here. Do not lose them. Now, as a closer look, see this is how it looks like. And there's only one orientation to actually fix it back. This is, in fact, facing um, outside and this is inside what do you mean by that now this starts over here right you can't pluck it with this facing out this is actually meant for the screw um, taper so see you can't go in so you need to actually flip over and do not do not force it see it just goes in I'll show you another one so if you were to do it the wrong orientation right you can't push it in not at all in fact it doesn't bite so when it doesn't bite right don't push it don't force it just turn it over see you just grab you just grab to it and you can just push down let me just push it down see you went in place now i'm just going to show you how to actually um, do the vinyl here i will not be doing the vinyl it's just that um, you can use all kinds of vinyl sheets and you can just go over it in one whole piece so make sure it's about um, I should say when you cut the vinyl itself right do not cut exactly the shape cut it slightly out as in like leave some gaps so when you turn it you can use a hair dryer to actually you know blow the heat so that you will just blend into your top panel so you'll be nicely done 
Now I'll be doing this on my actual mode itself because this is actually not the correct uh, vinyl that I'll be using. I'll be using something else. Now I'll be showing the steps on how to actually place it back the correct way. Now I've actually mentioned to you earlier to actually do the vinyl. Make sure you remove off this um, protective sheet here before you do that. Now to place this right, this is actually a top itself. If you were to take a look at the um, guiding rods or should I say the guiding studs, they should go according to this. So let me just do this. It would just go in nicely. See, this is done. So next thing to do is to fasten it. Make sure you check that the uh, panels is actually catched properly at the top. Then you can start with the studs, which is actually located at the back. So these are the studs here. Now just to show you where they are. Now as you can see, right, it's over here, here here and here. So you need to actually plug those studs back. So make sure you, your hand is actually pressing on the top then with the studs make sure it's actually of the correct direction or should I say orientation. Then you just press in place. See it just click. So do the same to the back. In fact, you have to do four. Done. Now, when you want to actually screw back the side screws, right, it's best that you flip the uh, case again so that the top is actually facing the bottom. Make sure you have a cushion for it, meaning you say either a mat or something spongy. Now, I'm just going to screw the uh, sides here. Taking all the screws here. And when you're aligning the screws, make sure that they are aligned straight and not crooked. Reason being, right, if you were to actually do it slanting, right, the thread hole might just wear off. Now, don't have to actually screw it very tight, just hand tight will do. Then, after you have actually done all the uh, screws right do a final tightening just to ensure that everything is actually sit in place now do not worry that this will break so long you don't touch it i mean this uh, control panel itself so it's actually tight right now now before i turn over the case to do the screws at the other end right i can actually do the back which I'm going to shift over here. Make sure you align it properly. Make sure that it's straight. Then you screw it in. You do not have to force it. In fact, it's quite easy to screw in. Then when it's about tight, do not over tighten it. Just hand tight will do. Because do remember that the thread is in fact plastic. So if you were to over screw it, you would just burst, break, lose the uh, threading. So do make sure. It can only go one direction. So if you feel there's a resistance there, stop. Then try to adjust your screw, make sure that it's straight. Then screw in. I've actually done this. Now the four screws, or should I say, it, all the start screws are actually in, and including the sides, including the sides, which is actually this two. I'm gonna flip it over the other side. Now it's actually to screw the other side. Now your panel is actually fully secured, as in all the screws are tightened in. I'll just flip to the other side and to show you how to actually mount the uh, panel itself. Now mounting the uh, panel back 
to where the position is, right? Never never to actually do it this way, but I'm just gonna show you why I actually explained to you that you need this, the cables, like the USB, the USB type C, and maybe an audio plug. Reason being, right, when you position this, imagine that this uh, is flipped the other way around, whereby you can actually place this button. See, if you were to place it right look like that, it's going to drop. There's no way that you can actually secure it. But just to show you the alignment of all this, if you were to flip it the other way around and you don't align it properly, right, even if you can fit the uh, button itself, all this alignment will be out when you screw it. See, there is alignment if you can see all this alignment here. So you might accidentally screw it this way or this way when you're actually facing the um, top at the bottom just because of the button itself. So for illustration's sake, right, see, it must be aligned. And having to say this, right, these are the tools that help me to align. See? You just say this there. So I just do another one. So that at least you know that the uh, metal piece of the uh, socket here are aligned properly so that you will screw it in the correct position. See? It will just stay there so you can start screwing it. And of course, I'm not going to screw it this way. I'm going to flip it over. Now, first thing to do, in fact, is actually to place the uh, button here. So what I've actually done, right, leave this, push this one side, place your button. Then on the other end, right, probably you can actually get a double-sided tape also, tape on the button itself so that it will stay there. Then you align the plate. Alright, this is actually in position whereby whereby the uh, metal pieces right are flush to the panel. Then from here you can just plug those that I've actually mentioned just to get in line. Once this is actually in line, don't touch it. Now is to actually screw at least two screws diagonally just to have the control panel in place with the panel. Once you have actually secured diagonally, you can unplug all this. And to release off the tape, see it's clickable. Put this one side. Now, you'll be able to actually screw the rest by flipping the case downwards. Now I've actually done all the screws and the panels is in place. I do apologize that I've not shown you how I screw it back due to reason that my camera went dead. There you have it. I've actually shown you how I remove off this alkylic panel off from the OL11 Dynamic Mini. And I've actually not done the mode on this video itself because I'm still waiting for some mode materials and the correct vinyl sheet. Oh, speaking of which, when you purchase vinyl sheet to actually tape on this panel itself, right, make sure you get the correct vinyl sheet. It's catered for cars. Reason being, right, they're thicker and they can bond very well on alkylic. And when you use the hair dryer, right, it will just grab the uh, alkylic, especially at the ends here. So do make sure that you're actually pur purchasing the correct vinyl sheet. Now, during the holidays, right, I will be migrating my current PC. This is actually my current PC from my Lenly Lenku 2 case to this uh, OL11 Mini. And I'm still waiting for some of the mode material, inclusive of some of the PC parts like my power supply, as I can't use the power supply on this uh, current PC itself because the uh, case require either to use a SFX or SFXL power supply. 
I hope you have actually enjoyed what I've shared with you and to give you some creative ideas on how you can actually protect the alcoholic panel on this casing itself. And if you do like my content, do subscribe to my channel and don't miss out on my next video which I'm going to migrate this PC to the OL11. So make sure you hit on the uh, notification button. Alright then, see you guys in the next video. Take care, goodbye.